Crafty Crafty, please do hit that subscribe button below and make sure that you also click on the little bell to turn your notifications on. It will let you know every time I upload a new tutorial. It's completely free to subscribe and it's well worth doing. So today we're going to decorate some balloons using some vinyl and I'm also going to show you a great trick for adhering your vinyl to curved surfaces such as balloons and baubles. So we're in design space and I've got some text in front of me. I'm just going to change the fonts. Now you can use any fonts for these, it doesn't really matter. Whatever theme you've got, whatever kind of way you want to do it, it's completely up to you. I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to go for Samantha because it's pretty and it's nice and easy and it's going to go with the rest of my party pieces as well. So it will all tie in nicely and I'm also going to bring my letter spacing together so that they overlap so when we cut them they're going to be exactly as we want. Now you'll see that's not quite working the way I want to. So I'm just going to go advanced and ungroup to letters and I'm just going to move them slightly so that we have got that nice overlap and it's exactly as we want it to be. And I'm also just going to bring my P closer as well and then I'm just going to go in and weld it. With this one again I'm going to change it to Samantha, I'm also going to make it bigger so that I can see it. And again, I'm just going to bring my letter spacing together. And I'm just going to do exactly the same thing for all of them. Now, with these two, I want them to be on the same balloon. So I'm just going to bring them towards each other. And then I'm just going to highlight. I'm going to align. I'm going to center them horizontally so they keep that gap in the middle. And then again, I'm just going to highlight and I'm going to weld them. Now I need to blow up my balloons and then I can work out the size that I want them to be. So to work out how big I want my vinyl to be, I blow my balloon up and I just get a tape measure. I just put it around the front middle section and it will give me an idea of the width. So this is about 8 inches, I'll be happy with that. So that's how I measure my vinyl to go on my balloons. It's all going to be very different because your balloons, you're obviously going to have different sizes. One you may blow up big, one you may be blow up small. So they're all going to be slightly different. You're never going to get the balloons uniform. But you can just go in with a tape measure and work out a rough approximation of the size of your vinyl. Once you then change your sizes, you can work out when you want them, where you want them to cut, so you can have them all on one mat, you can have them different colours, it's completely up to you. We're then going to go to make it, we can then go to continue, and you can then choose your vinyl settings depending on your vinyl. I'm using the Cricut holographic vinyl today, so I'm just going to go straight in with holographic vinyl. I've got my three Cricut holographic vinyl colours here. One's blue, one is white, and one is, I think it's pink or red. But a great way to tell, and I think I've discussed this before, probably in one of the lives, is if you just peel back slightly, you'll see the blue has got a blue backing on it. The white has got a white backing. The pink one has got a pink backing, so it's a great way to be able to tell which of the holographics you're actually using. I know I say this all the time as well, and I'm probably becoming a bit of a broken record on it, but when you're working with something really high shine like this, you do not want to go in with your scraper. You are going to scratch it. So either use a fabric brayer like your Cricut Maker one, or something like a non-stick roller or you can apply some felt to your scraper and it will just stop it from scratching the surface. So 
when doing a project like this and I need to transfer the vinyl onto something delicate like a balloon, paper, card, notebooks, anything like that, I use paper transfer tape. Now I get big rolls of this, it's about £10, it's from gmcrafts.co.uk, I will put the link in below, and basically it's a big roll of masking tape. You can get it from eBay, Amazon, there's lots of places you can get paper transfer tape, and it's really, really great for projects like this. Now the one thing I will say is, I don't reuse it. Once I've used it once, I just throw it away. There probably is a way you can reuse it. You could stick it onto some old transfer tape backing, but I just throw it away. And you're going to transfer the same way you always will. So you're going to place your transfer tape over. You're then going to go in with your scraper on the front and then the back. And you're then just going to peel it from the back. Once you've transferred all your pieces to your paper transfer tape, I then have a method that I use. You can see that I've just cut them as straight pieces, but they're going onto a curved surface. Now I use this with balloons, baubles, glasses, and I find that this process works really well for me. So we're going to go in with this one first. You can see I've got some scissors here and I'm just going to snip all the way along up to the letters. And if you're using a font that perhaps isn't cursive, you want to snip to the middle of the letter and you're going to do the same on the other side and you're just going to leave a small gap. And I find that this really works and helps you to be able to really position your vinyl onto your curved surface. You're then going to get your balloon and you're going to come in and you're going to place your vinyl where you want it on your balloon. And I always start with the middle first. So we're just going to place it there. So I'm going to place my middle letter down and then work my way outwards. And I'm just going to let my transfer tape and my vinyl naturally fall where it wants to. I can then come in and really push that down and I'm going to gently go in with my scraper. You're then going to very gently start peeling away. always then just go in with my finger and just make sure that that's nice and adhered. 